name's Gail Springer. My lovely assistant here is Paul, my husband, and uh, we live in Blanchard. We own PFL Incorporated. We sell tack, and we raise Pasofino horses, and we also do metal fabrication, which is like for red signs and things like that. And today I'm here uh, by Kaya's invitation to talk about saddle fit, and that's what we'll talk about. Um, we have an array of saddles here. First, I want to talk just a tiny bit about history. The very first saddles known in history uh, were from China, about 1400 BC. And all they consisted of was a piece of fabric over a horse with like a surcingle, no stirrups. About 400 BC uh, in China, they developed the stirrup. So all this time they rode without stirrups. Uh, the stirrup didn't come into the rest of the world until the Roman soldiers, after the Roman soldiers. Uh, the Roman soldiers actually rode a treeless saddle, and their saddles, I uh, saw some really interesting pictures. They had horns, four horns, two horns on the front, two horns in the back, and they rode without stirrups. And uh, as time progressed, the more fancy your saddle, the richer you were, so it became a status symbol. Um, the treeless saddle was ridden, and is still ridden today, but the tree came into existence during the, uh, the Dark Ages, the Medieval Ages, and it's when people started using war horses. And they had the heavy armor on, they had uh, their fighting instruments, and they fought from the back of the horse. So these guys had to have something to help hold them into the saddle. A treeless saddle, after, if you're getting hit with force, would not help you hold on. So they had they developed the tree, the, the wood tree, and they strapped this down to the horse. They had stirrups, and the tree, the cantle and the pommel was developed at that time. So it gives them something to lean against when they're fighting. So that's how the tree came about. And it progressed to what we have today. 